Uh, one thing we haven't addressed, uh, certainly in this hour, is that the Atlanta Fed came out with a new first quarter forecast for growth. I don't know if they change it Monday, but they said we'd see a pretty massive 5.4% growth context. number. Jack McIntyre, uh, we are now even lower. Mm -hmm. We're down 680 points. Would you say we go down 700? We've got four minutes left. It just feels like people are getting out. In essence, they might be saying, you know, keep the cheese, just let me out of the trap. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, there's no reason that why uh, we're, we're going to have a very ugly close. Monday, probably early, is probably going to be a pretty ugly day. But uh, I think this is when you, and it's tough to do, you check your emotions. You look at the underlying economy. Uh, I think so. It, you know, Charlie's point out if, if the economy slows or doesn't get the bang from the tax reform, well, isn't that going to put a little downward pressure on inflation? That's kind of mm -hmm. spooking the bond market right now. So maybe that actually means the Fed doesn't have to tighten as aggressively. Uh, and the bond market should actually see a little bit of stability uh, on that type of outlook. Dan, and that um, flow through into the low of the session, I just want to keep people up to date. We're down 679. Low of the session is a loss of 689, I believe. Yes, that is correct. Uh, we're at 25,509. So uh, the rearview mirror, that's 26,000, or maybe it's way down the road, I would say. Uh, why not pick up some stocks in this last three minutes of trade on your TD Ameritrade account or wherever you trade uh, that look cheaper right now? I don't think anybody would want to step into this, you know, right now. I mean, I, I think from a multiple standpoint, I don't believe the markets are extremely expensive. They're certainly not cheap. But remember what you're dealing with here. Sentiment was extremely high. The public looks at these numbers on a nominal basis, seeing, you know, the S&P 500 trading close to 3,000, the Dow, you know, pushing 26, 27,000. You're going to step in at a time when most people are kind of moving to the sidelines. I, I don't think you have have to do that okay. at this point. Hold I on, think let you me interrupt. I'm so sorry. Uh, the VIX just rose again, another percentage point. The VIX is now up 29%. We started up, what, 26%? We're now up 29% in this final uh, couple of seconds here. Now we stand at 17.48. Sorry, Dan, I interrupted you. Finish your thought. No. No, that's, that's okay. I mean, it's, you know, again, that, it kind of proves my point. I mean, it, you know, we're going to close very much at the lows here. You're going to continue to see volatility going into Monday. I don't think there's any reason to rush in here and try to be a hero. You know, a bunch of your speakers, you know, have pointed out some corrections we had in the past. The last real big correction we had in this market was 2015. From 2015 into January 2016, the markets lost 15 percent mm -hmm. over the course of a few months. So, yeah. you know, relative to something like that, we haven't seen that right. type of volatility in two to three years. So I think this is a natural shakeout, and, but and I we, don't think this disrupts the longer term no. cycle and, here at and all. You know, you know, Liz, we have a, a very convoluted fiscal policy agenda right now. I mean, there's, there's stuff in there that markets need to digest. And I think that's kind of what's going on here. I, and I can't tell you, I think it's going to be good. That's my personal opinion. I'm not telling people to buy stocks, but I think it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, I, I gave you countervailing arguments. Uh, you we know? just we just came in within four points of dropping 700 points. It's a rare day, folks. We want to just let people know that still, I think the point is to be made. It's, it's a loss of what, about 2.6% off the Dow. Doesn't feel good on the headline picture, but we are still up about 38, 37% since Election Day. Uh, great advice from all of you guys. Jack, Dan, Charlie, Charles Payne, all of our traders. We so appreciate it. Brian Westbury, stocks look to close. At session lows or just slightly off them right now, it has been a rock and roll day and a little bit more roll than rock, I have to tell you. But with 14 seconds left till the end of the session, that'll do it for the Clayman Countdown. There is a lot of fallout here. After the Bell is standing by with a whole new team of experts and people to talk you out through about what happens Monday, guys.